I am in love with this color. It's really not good for my bank account. Who let me think that this would be cute? Runway. Fashion. Vibe. This dress is so cute. Uh, sorry. Harry Styles want to date me? Because it kind of just reflects. The cats that I saw on TikTok are so cute. My ass is getting flatter and flatter as the days go by. Hey guys, it's Mike Batman here. Make sure to subscribe to be a part of the family and comment something down below because I read every single one of the comments. Yes, I'm being serious. Also, don't skip the ads or like watch like 30 seconds of it. If you want to help us this out, I would really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul for you guys. Also, um, ah, what the fuck was that? Cut the cameras. Oh yeah, anyways, um, you can see like my non-existent ass. So today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul because I've collected so many clothes throughout the past couple weeks and I feel like there's a new style for me like every single month because I can't, I like don't have one identity. I have like a hundred, but I don't really know what it's called. So I'm going to insert it on the screen here. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over Pinterest and Instagram and I'm sure the style is going to go out of trend in like a month or like two weeks. Why are trends always going in and out? Like I can't afford to be keeping up with all these trends because last time I checked, mom jeans were in trend, but I guess they're not anymore and flare jeans are the new thing and skinny jeans are totally not in trend anymore but I don't fucking get it and I can't keep up with them I don't know don't listen to the trends guys don't fall for it you're just gonna waste your fucking money but here I am falling for the trends so um, maybe I'm not one to listen to also this video isn't sponsored because I feel like every single haul video is sponsored now and I want to be real with you guys and tell you guys what looks like crap and what's good this is gonna be a try on as well because I think that regular hauls are boring. I'm sorry. So you guys can see how it looks on my uh, fridge shaped body type, but it's okay. We're gonna embrace it, okay? I may not be an hourglass, but at least I'm a fridge. Fridges are cool. We got some like snacks. So I got clothes from Amazon. Yes. Amazon, Aritzia, Brandy Melville, Garage, and Kiss the Rainbow Shop. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with Kiss the Rainbow Shop since I'm already wearing it. I found this shop off of Instagram and they sent me clothes, but this video isn't sponsored. They're not paying me to say this or anything. They just like sent me clothes to try out. And I love this dress. It's like a cherry print dress. And I don't know, I think it's so cute. I've already worn this, but it has like little bows on it and there's like little lace detailing here. And also I think just like cherries are in trend, I guess. The little bow here has like gingham print on it. The dress is a little bit, longer but obviously not long it's just like not like a super short dress but i like that it's like right above the knee overall i think this dress is really cute and does it have adjustable straps oh yeah it has adjustable straps as well so very nice 10 out of 10. Okay, I absolutely love this dress and I love how it fits. This is a medium actually, which is surprising, but this is just like a little floral kind of dress. I love these colors. I feel like this is super popular and it just has like this lettuce print at the top. You can kind of do it off the shoulder if you want and do it like this, but I kind of like them on the shoulder. This also has a zip up in the back, which is super nice. So it's like really snug. I don't know. And then it also has like a band here. So it kind of cinches you in and makes you look less like a rectangle. I feel like this really helps my body type and I don't really have to wear a bra with it, but I also got like no titties. So uh, can I say that? Maybe Maybe I could say I got no boobs. So this looks so cute and I love how this fits. Wow, this dress is so cute. All right, next one. Okay, all right, so from the same shop, I got this orange top and I got this to match my orange dunks. It's like kind of loose up here and it like has this band. I don't know, it's a really stretchy material. I think I got this in a medium, which was a little bit too big. Could have gotten a small, but I still think it fits super nice. And I just love this shirt. It's really different from what I have. Um, I've worn this shirt a couple times and I've also posted an Instagram, posted, posted, posted. I also posted an Instagram picture in this. When I wore this on Instagram, I wore this with it as well. This is from the same shop. This is in a size small and it's just like this plaid kind of jacket. It flannel. It's not like a rough kind of flannel. It's like really fuzzy and soft actually if you guys can tell And I think that blue and orange look so good together because like they're opposite on the color wheel and blue and orange just complement each other Super well, so I think that this goes really good with it And I also just love the brown on the blue flannel like I think I'm gonna wear this a lot this winter Oh, it just looks so good and it's just a little bit oversized. This is in a size small I don't know if I already said that I don't know I feel like this is just a really good fit and this kind of just goes with everything It'd be a really good basic to wear and it's actually pretty freaking soft. So yeah Oh, and the sides are like kind of of swoop down if you guys can see wow also these jeans are from princess polly i kind of ripped them on the side like the belt loop but i really love these jeans they're like some of my favorite jeans and you guys always ask where i get them princess polly i feel like they just cinch the waist in and if you're like a rectangle like me it just makes you look a little bit more curvy than you actually are i think i got these in a size two but i definitely could go for a size zero now just because my ass is getting flatter and flatter as the days go by but yeah next one what was that transition? Okay, um, anyways, so I got this vest and I got it in a medium, which is kind of freaking huge. I feel like I definitely could have gotten a small in this, but it's fine. I wear this like with like, um, what is it? One of those like collared white button down. This comes pretty oversized. So if you guys are gonna get this, definitely get like size down or like the small size you can. But there's just like slits in the side and I feel like vests are 
Uh, sorry. Um, I feel like vests are super popular now. I mean, like, I told myself I wouldn't get into the trend, but you know, it was available on the website, so I got it. But honestly, I don't even wear them that much just because I just don't think this is really for me. It just makes me like. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a door in this so I don't think it really accentuates my body shape or anything like that But I mean it's cute. I guess but it's just like not my vibe. I also have a tan one So let's change it to that all right, so this is the tan one that I have. I think I definitely like this one a little bit more. The color is just a lot cuter to me. I'll definitely wear this one more than the blue one. But again, it's just the same style. And is this a medium as well? You know what? It, it doesn't say. Overall, I feel like everyone's wearing these vests. And this is a pretty good quality one. I feel like you can also get it off of Amazon if you really want to. I'm not gonna be honest. All right, let's change to the next thing. Oh, I'm done with these transitions. It's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. I'm not best dressed in here. You guys didn't come here for real fashion content. You guys didn't come here for aesthetically pleasing videos. You guys came here to see some clothes and hang out with me. So that's the vibe. I'm talking like a boy right now. Interesting. So then I have this. I don't know what's really going on. This gives me like runway, fashion, vibes. But I need to figure out a way to style it because I feel like this is something different. I feel like this is giving me like fashion blogger vibes with like this detail and like just flowiness. And I need to get an Instagram picture in this because it's different. I've been looking to buy clothes that aren't just like jeans and a white tank top to post on Instagram. And I feel like this is it. This is kind of a vibe. I could post something like this, but I feel like I want like a colorful top to make it like spicy and different. You know what I mean? But this is a really cute like kind of fall piece, even though I'm going to be going back to Canada literally in like a day and I cannot be wearing this there, but it's fine. I'll keep this in LA. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a mushroom. <laughs> I sounded like a Nazi zombie from like Nazi zombies. Anyways, I got this cardigan thingy from the same shop. It has cherries on it. And oh my god, why have I never worn this? This is so cute. And like it matches like, you know, the cherry kind of trend. Does Harry Styles like cherries? I feel like he's talked about cherries. I don't know. Harry Styles want to date me? Anyways, so cute. The cherries are like embroidered on. So it's like really good quality. Super soft. And then I like how the buttons are black. Would have been cute if they were red. But you know what? It's fine. I like the length of it too. Kind of reminds me of like the brandy ones. But even better in my opinion. I love this. I need to wear this more often. Because like it's actually really cute. All right, so next we have this dress. It's actually really long and it's at an awkward kind of length and it just It doesn't make me look the best because it kind of just reflects this You know what I mean? Maybe I need to wear some like skims or something with it. This dress isn't really for me It's not really my style But I think I'm gonna force myself to wear it and do an Instagram picture in it Just because it's different and I need to get out of my comfort zone and wear some more ugly things because ugly equals fashion What about this? Would this be cute? <laughs> Who let me think that this would be cute? This is gross. Anyways, look at Danny, guys. She's really cute. So yeah, I don't really like this dress, to be honest. I feel like I'm a mom going to a wedding, you know? That's kind of the vibes. All right, next door. Ah! Okay, I love corsets with a burning passion, and I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite corsets. I've actually posted on Instagram wearing this, so like, go follow my Instagram if you guys wanna see it. So this is from Amazon, like I said, and uh, I grew an obsession with corsets because I am such... Just, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but I'm a rectangle, okay? And I have wide set ribs, so I can't really do anything about it. So I love corsets because it just cinches you in. Now, this is a medium, though, so it doesn't really do much for me. Oh, my God. And Amazon, I've been sleeping on Amazon this whole time. They have such cute clothes for such a cheap price, and they come really quick. Because I've been looking for corsets for the longest time. I saw all these influencers wear corsets and, like, Madison Beer and all this stuff, and then I would click on where they got the corset from, and it'd be from, like, a vintage store, and it'd be, like, $300, and I'd be like, ah, like, where the f*** you think I got this money from? I I don't want to break my bank account to buy a corset to look skinny. But you know what? Then I typed in on Amazon and I found a fix. I'd rather spend $300 on a bunch of clothes than $300 on one thing that I'm probably going to end up losing or staining. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And it has just like some green detailing, some gold ribbon, and this is the back. I just love corsets because you can adjust them. So this is one of my favorite style of corsets from Amazon. They have so many colors and I have this in white as well. I just love the halter kind of top because it just makes your shoulders look less broad. And then this also has kind of a bit of padding in it so you don't even have to wear a bra and just makes them look good. The ribbon's really cute. Everything's just really cute about it. It's kind of like a satin kind of silky material and it also scoops at the bottom which makes you look even more slim thicky. And I feel like it just looks good with anything. It kind of like replaces a tank top to me now basically. I wear these so often because they're just so basic and simple and cute and just ah, uh, It's so extra and it just makes me look rich even though I bought it for like 20 bucks. And it has a zipper as well but it's also a corset. But it also has a zipper. So then I have this corset top and it's kind of really extra. This is actually my Halloween costume. 
costume. I have this in black as well. This was also a part of my Halloween costume. I'm just not gonna try the black one on because corsets are a pain in the ass. You can cut these strings though and kind of adjust it to however you like. But like as I said, it just kind of cinches you in and makes you look really snatched. And then there's also like lace at the bottom. They have so many colors to choose from. I think this is gonna look so cute with my wings. And I don't know, it's kind of a vibe though. Like I think this is so different. For 20 bucks, this is amazing. Like so cute. This is the detailing on it, if you guys can see. So many different colors. Absolutely love it. All right, now we're doing brandy. So I got this top from Brandy because I wanted like more brown pieces, but I absolutely regret getting this top because it like is so rectangular, the neckline of it. And if you guys have like broad shoulders and no hips, I don't really suggest getting tops like this, like with a rectangular neckline. I suggest you guys going for halter tops because this is what you'll look like. I don't know, it doesn't look terrible, but it's just like not my favorite. But it has like this kind of detail, it's ribbed. Honestly, not my vibe. I don't know how often I'm gonna wear it. I'll only wear this if I have a jacket, but that's it. But I also have another brown piece that I'm gonna show you guys from Brandy, so yeah. So I got this short sleeve button down from Brandy and I absolutely love it. I feel like brown is the new color and I love wearing brown and colors together, especially pink. Brown and pink is like my favorite combo, I think. I wore this with my pink corset that I was just showing you guys and it's really adorable. I don't know, I kind of just love these basic tops and I know that they're really basic, but I feel like they kind of go with everything. You can wear a top underneath or you can just wear it like this super cute and you can layer it with jackets and stuff like that but it's just ribbed and it has buttons on it and i love the length of it so yeah brown is the new color get on the wave all right so then i got this humongous sweater from brandy melville and it says niagara falls canada and if you guys don't know i live in canada and i found this in los angeles and i was like whoa but i love how oversized it is like this is honestly one of my favorite sweaters i wear this to sleep i wear this everywhere i wear this out when i go to grocery shop it has pockets yeah, yeah, it has pockets on the sides too, which is so nice. Oh, frick. This is gonna be like my new staple for this winter and this fall, I think. I just love it. It's the perfect size. You can wear no pants with it if you want to. If you like lift your arms up, it's a little bit risky. This is super good quality. Like it's really thick if you guys can see that. It's embroidered on 10 out of 10. I literally love this sweater. All right, so I got my Mean Girls outfit. I could literally be the mom from Mean Girls. Not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. And wear this outfit. It's just like a pink sweat set. I love Brandy Melville sweats. They're my favorite sweats ever. I have so many gray ones just because they're such a staple. I also have black ones, but I decided to get pink ones because I'm wearing pink so much more now and I'm becoming more girly as the days go by because I used to be like rug girl, but now I'm turning into like this emoji kind of girl. I was gonna get the white sweater again because I've owned probably like five of them and I keep staining them because I can't keep anything white. But I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get a pink one because I'm trying to wear more colors. I'm just so used to black and white that I thought might as well try to venture out to new colors because I look boring as fuck. Their sweats and their cropped hoodies are literally my favorite. Also, their oversized sweaters. Oh my god. Wait, I have some. I don't know where it went though. I'm gonna find them. I just love how everything fits and I love how they have so many like color sets. You know what I mean? I feel like the mom from Mean Girls. Okay, so speaking of sets, I have this one from Brandy and I absolutely love it. It's my first pair of biker shorts that I've ever gotten. Just because my ass is like kind of flat, it just doesn't do very much for it. This is what I'm talking about. These sweaters are the best. And oh. These sweaters are the best because they're kind of thick, but they're also not like too heavy. It's kind of sturdy and it's not just like a really soft cotton material. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I think these sets are super freaking cute. And I love like this pine green kind of color. Okay, so then um, this is not a fit, but I got these gray sweats from Brandy. Again, these are my absolute favorite and I like to stock up on them because these are my favorite and we don't really have a Brandy close to where I live in Canada. The closest one is in Vancouver, which is like a 10 hour drive. So I'm not about to do that. But yeah, these are like the best sweats ever. Everyone's always asking me where they're from, Brandy. And I also have this vest from Brandy. It's a really small one, which I I also really like it's kind of like a pale green color super cute I feel like green and brown are kind of coming into style I mean, green's already been in style But yeah, so then I have this really cute just like simple kind of button-up sweater I don't like to button up all the way But what I love wearing this with is with corsets I just feel like sometimes they're a little too extra So I put this over top and you can still kind of see the details because of the deep neck And if you just leave the rest of the buttons open I don't know I feel like this is just a very simple basic piece to have in your wardrobe and you can kind of wear this with anything I love it. I just love the way it falls, you know, okay So now from princess Polly, I totally forgot that I bought from the store. So I got this daisy dress and it just looks like this there's really cute daisies embroidered on it and there's lace I don't know I think it's adorable and I've already posted an Instagram picture in this and it has a nice slit oh I love this white dress I feel like it's a very simple basic white dress but it's really cute because of the little details it has Ugh. I love and I love the length of it even though you can almost see my underwear all right, so this top is from Princess Polly. It's not really supposed to be worn like this. I mean, it could be. I wore this with the Daisy Justin Instagram picture, but if you button it up, it just doesn't look proper. Oh, I just love how it looks. Kind of reminds me of like a Christmas sweater. And it's really small, which I'm not like used to, but I feel like it's something different. Love the color and everything like that. It just fits really nicely. Oh, I love Princess Polly clothing. Like my whole closet is basically Princess Polly. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm trying to expand, you know? Because I feel like everyone shops at Princess Polly. I'm wrapping this around me because I don't have a shirt on anymore. But if you guys want 20% off, literally just search up Princess Polly Hall on YouTube and then you'll find a code somewhere in someone's description box. 
box. All right, so this top is from a garage. You guys remember when I used to be obsessed with garage? And garage would be like the only thing that I would wear. And I dreamed of a garage sponsorship that never even happened. Yeah, me too. Anyways, I'm glad that phase is over. But garage still smacks though. It's kind of like the Canadian version of Brandy Melville since we don't really have that many Brandy Melville locations. But this is the shirt that I got. Kind of ruches and you can tie it up in the front. And then I love this halter piece kind of neck. I really like this. Again, just like a pale color. Something different. Something to spice it up. So I also got this like button down top from garage. I like these way more than the brandy ones. I feel like it just fits way better. The material's thinner and it just flows a lot better. And it just like forms way better to your body. I don't know. I think these are way better than the brandy ones and I think that they're cheaper. I would recommend getting the garage ones instead. Sorry, Brandy Melville. These just look better. I don't know and I love the color. All right, time for Aritzia, the most expensive place to shop ever. When I was younger, I was like, oh my God, I would never shop at Aritzia. But now that I have some money in my bank account, oh my God. It's not good. It's really not good for my bank account. But I got this brown sweat set because I just am obsessed with brown recently. And I love the Aritzia sweat sets. I mean, I say I love them, but I only have one. Because that's all I can afford. I just love how the brown looks. And these sweats fit so nice. They actually make my butt look half decent. But I was cleaning and I got like bleach stains on them. So what I'm going to do is like spray them with even more bleach. And just make them look like that because I can't believe I did that. But I'll still wear it. I really don't care. I just think the brown looks so good. You know, I feel like I can wear this with a jacket on it and it would look really cute. I feel like sweat sets just make you look bougie and like put together even though it's really Really comfy. So I saw these pants all over TikTok, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, these are the Molina pants from Aritzia, and they're just like some leather pants. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh my God. I am obsessed with these pants, and I've worn them so many times. I just feel like they flatter your body type so much. Like they flare out at the bottom, and they're super comfortable. I got these in a size two, and they loosen up as you wear them. That's what the worker said, and it's true. But I love these pants, and I feel like it just spices up an outfit. Like if you want to wear a hoodie, wear these pants and a hoodie. That's what I did yesterday, and it just makes you look so much more put together than just wearing like jeans or leggings. These pants are it. But yeah, if I suggest you guys to get anything from this whole haul, honestly, it would probably be these pants. They're the best. Okay, so if you guys don't know already, I'm obsessed with Set Active Workout Gear. I have almost like all of their colors. I have lime green, gray, tan, taupe. I have like all the colors. So now they have like this kind of mauve color, I think it is. And I love these one shoulder sports bras. Like they're my favorite. I just love Set Active. I feel like they suck you in and the colors are super pretty. I just feel so put together whenever I work out. And like wearing cute workout clothes makes you just want to work out even more. And I just love wearing this around doing errands and stuff like that. I love Set Active. This again isn't sponsored. They just send me them, but I love them. And like, I don't wear Lululemon Align leggings anymore. I swear by those. I swear by Set Active leggings now. But oh my God, I am in love with this color. This is probably my favorite Set Active set that I've ever had. My favorite one prior to this is my lime green one, which looks like this and it's an off the shoulder one. But oh my God, this color is everything. And it matches my car. They sent me these in an extra small, which honestly I think I'd probably go for a small. This is so cute. And they have so many different style tops. If you guys want them and they have like biker shorts and all that stuff so if you guys don't like this kind of top they have like off the shoulder ones and like thinner strap ones that scoop down i love so active so much and this sounded like a brand deal all right so that's it for this clothing haul make sure to follow my instagram if you guys want to see all the outfits that i put together i'm trying to post like every day on instagram now and i'm also like daily vlogging on instagram so go check that out oh my god i cannot get over how cute this color is uh, also subscribe i would really appreciate it i read every single one of my comments from my subscribers so make sure to comment down below something because i will like your comment and yeah until next time peace East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, hey, I'm thinking I should arrest her.